Hello, my name is Jessica Escobar. I am a section violinist at the Reno Philharmonic Orchestra. I have been playing with the Reno Phil since 1999, the summer after I graduated from high school. And uh, I actually started in the Reno fa Phil family as a violinist in the Reno Philharmonic Youth Orchestra, the first one we had during its debut season in 1994. So it's definitely my musical family and I miss all of my fellow musicians and we all miss playing for all of you and uh, hope that everybody is doing as well as possible during this strange and surreal time. Um, during the daytime, I am a certified court interpreter for the second judicial district court and um, shout out to my colleagues as well at the court who are continuing to make justice happen, whether it's on the front lines or behind the scenes telecommuting and working from home. And today, um, the reason I'm kind of dressed like this is because in addition to the gratitude that I feel for the people on the front lines, making it happen every day, um, keeping our community safe, I want to dedicate my selections to the dreamers, the ones who have been feeding our souls and our minds and our imaginations in the middle of what sometimes feels like stagnation or fear and whatnot, it brings us joy to read and to watch something and to listen to something. And um, to the artists of the world, thank you. My first little piece, it's kind of a medley, um, is from the episode, The Inner Light from Star Trek The Next Generation, which won a Hugo Award actually. It's a beautiful uh, episode. The title is derived from the song by the Beatles of the same name, The Inner Light, which in turn is derived from verses from the Tao Te Ching. And uh, it's a beautiful episode about an ancient civilization that long ago disappeared when their sun went nova, but how the memory of that lives on through one man, through Captain Jean-Luc Picard. And um, so that's that connection with people gone and no longer with us, but who will always be with us, past, present, and future. And then I'm going to blend that into Ashokan Farewell, which was made famous in the PBS series, The Civil War by Ken Burns, but was composed originally by Jay Ungar, inspired by Scottish laments after a trip to Scotland and in commemoration of the ending of the 1982 Ashokan camp for fiddling and dance uh, that he ran with his wife, Molly Mason, who named the piece. And he said that that was his attempt to find a more meaningful connection. Even as the camp was ending and people felt that sadness and bittersweetness, the joy of that connection. So joy and sadness, always kind of together, always seemingly present in, I would think, the deepest connections in our life. So I hope that you enjoy these um, short pieces, The Inner Light and Ashokan Farewell.
present, future, across space and time, all connected. Thank you very much. Stay safe. See you soon.